Hey everyone, Shannon here. I'm going to show you how to set up Adobe Premiere sequences so that you can edit your videos to share on mobile platforms like Instagram and TikTok. If you wanted more flexibility with editing tools, uh, everything that Premiere has to offer and with a professional look. So first in Premiere, we need to create a new sequence and set the size for mobile video, which is vertical instead of horizontal. So you see right now, um, you know, this is standard video. It's uh, 16 by nine. Mobile will be nine by 16. So essentially we just need to flip it. Uh, so first go to file, new, sequence, or control N, command N on a Mac. And our presets come up. So next to sequence presets, we're going to select the settings tab and in the editing mode, we want to select custom. This is so that we can change our settings. Uh, in time base, you will see it's automatically set to 2997 frames per second or FPS, which is super important. Whatever FPS you filmed on your phone, uh, whether it's 24, 30, 60 frames per second, make sure it matches that. So I will choose uh, 30 for now. And then this is where we change our frame size. So you see we have 1920 by 1080. Well, guess what? It's as simple as just flipping them around. So if we did have 1080 by 1080, you see that that's a one-on-one -on -one ratio. So that's actually the perfect, um, the square that you would see on Instagram posts. So you can do that as well. But for uh, the nine by 16, we will select 1080 by 1920. And you'll see that our ratio changes to 916. And then everything else I just leave. Uh, if you wanted to save this preset so that you can always use it when you go back into Premiere, you just select save preset and we'll give it a name like mobile device. Uh, 30 FPS because you can uh, have multiple uh, presets for 24 FPS, 60 FPS uh, so that you can just click on them and it will generate that for you. And I'm just going to name this sequence to mobile. And there we go. It just flipped our uh, preview around. So that now in our timeline, we can place our video from our mobile device that we took. We can add any music. We could add titles and effects to that and edit our video on the timeline just as we would normally. So I'm going to go ahead and just build a quick video preview for you guys here. All right, so now I'm ready to export this little video. We will go to File, all the way down to Export Media, or Control M or Command M on a Mac, or we can just click the Export tab at the top, which is a nice new feature that Adobe has, which I love. All right, so automatically we see that our video has it's basically in the middle of a horizontal sequence setting. This is okay. Don't panic. We will fix this. Uh, we just need to change the settings. So first of all, name your file so that you can find it later and make sure it's in a location folder where you can access it. Uh, then we'll go down to the preset drop down, and we will select there's a couple ways we can do this. One way is to select the mobile device preset, which is mobile device 1080p, because that's what we were editing in. And we just hit the video drop down and select match source. And we have our sequence settings match to our export settings. Uh, you can also import custom presets here. So if you scroll down in the uh, preset dropdown, you just select more presets. You can make your own, you can import them in. 
Um, but I like to use the mobile presets that Adobe gives you. So this mobile preset allows the video to be rendered in high quality, um, just as we edited in the timeline in our sequence settings, but provides a file size meant for uploading. So it's not this massive file um, that won't be optimized for mobile viewing. So once we're all good, um, automatically if we have audio, it's included here. If you wanted to shut anything off, you can. Uh, and we will just hit export. Now that we've clicked on our exported file in our file explorer, we can see that the uh, mobile version is the version that's going to be uploaded um, from our phone. So you can save this video file to your phone, send it through the cloud, and you are ready to upload. If you liked this video, please be sure to like and comment. Let me know what other tutorials you'd like to see. And if you haven't yet, hit subscribe and be notified when I release new tutorials. Thanks for watching.